So once you have finished creating your drawing and outlining in Sharpie, it's going to be time for us to paint. And we are actually going to be working with neon paints um, in the classroom, but at home you can use any colors um, that you would like. If you don't have paints readily available to you at home, you can use um, markers or crayons. It's kind of whatever option suits you best or colored pencil, whatever you have available to you. Um, but in class we are going to be painting and we're going to be painting with neon paints because we are going to black light these and I actually have a black light already started. In the classroom you're going to want to get some paint and you'll see that I don't have very much on here. The yellow is actually way too much. Um, but I have my neon paints and I am uh, put it on a wax paper and um, I also need a cup of water with brushes like this and a paper towel so that I can dry my brush in between working. So what I'm going to do is I want to try out some different techniques here with my paints. So I'm going to move these onto here. Um, these are acrylic paints. And I want to keep a dry paintbrush, but I do need to clean it between uses. So um, there's several different techniques that we can try um, in, within here. One of the ones that I'm going to try, I'm going to dry my brush on my paper towel before I go into my paint. I'm going to grab some paint. You can just paint regular, uh, with, uh, without a specific technique, but I would like to see a couple techniques tried out. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is a loaded brush, so you're going to see I have a little paint on here, and I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to do the green, okay? That's a layered, um, or a loaded brush, so I've layered a couple different colors of paint. You might be able to see that there. And then I'm just going to come in with my loaded brush and start painting the area. If you happen to go over any of your Sharpie lines, you will want to wait till the paint dries and then you can always use a Sharpie and redo your lines again. And you'll see I'm actually painting under black light here. Just for fun. So I can already see the glow happening. And in Keith Haring's art, he really um, covers up all of the white space. There's very little time that you, little times that you will see white space in his artwork. So please make sure that you are going bright um, and bold. Usually when he does something like a person, he sticks to just one color for that person. The people don't have faces or anything. And on my example here, I chose to do world hunger or ending world hunger as my social world issue. Um, and so I even wrote it in text on there. You don't have to write it because your, your pictures can speak for themselves, of course. But I decided just to write on it as well. I have my little guy. He's shrugging his shoulders. He's trying to figure out how am I going to end world hunger? What can I do to make things better? So you're just going to continue through making sure um, to get a smaller paintbrush if you're going into smaller areas. Right now I'm using kind of a medium sized paintbrush. And remember when you're painting you should not be scrubbing your brush back and forth like that. You should be painting and then kind of picking your brush up. Painting again, picking your brush up. If you happen to get anything on the tables while you're painting, all you do is just wash them off at the end of class and it'll be fine. And if you're online, of course you would be cleaning up at home with whatever you have to clean up with, a rag. You could also put newspaper, um, if you're at home, you could put newspaper or, or a piece of paper underneath your artwork while you're painting so you don't get it all over the surface you're working on. At school, we're not so, so worried about it. We just get it on the table and we just wash it off at the end of class. So between colors, I am washing my brush and drying it again before I start my next section. 
And just because I'm using um, the neon paints doesn't mean I can't also use other materials. Just remember, if you want the whole thing to glow, then you'll want to stick to the neons, even if it's not um, colors that go with your subject. Like, I'm sure my hamburger is not in real life going to be greens and yellows and pinks, but in neon world, it might be. Just being as careful as you can not to accidentally go into your other sections. And if you do, don't get upset. Just let's think about a way that we can fix it or make it look like you did it intentionally or on purpose. Don't throw away your paper just because you mess up. It's an opportunity for you to problem solve and figure out how to fix the issue. I'm going to show you another technique in a second with painting. Um, look, I went right over the line there. That's okay because I can go over it with um, my Sharpie and then I'll just paint over that section, try to cover it up just to make it look like I did it on purpose. It's okay. So I'm going to show you the technique of scumbling next. That's where you kind of go round and around to kind of get like a clouded effect. Um, so I've got my pink already on my brush, so I think I'll work with that a little bit more. And I'm just going to choose a section to do this in. I think I'm going to do it. Let's move this guy over a little bit right over here. So when I'm scumbling, I'm kind of going around almost in little circles and I, then I'm going to want to get another color on there and combine it. So I think I'm going to come in with a little bit of my yellow and work it into that pink there. It's going to give me kind of an orangey shade and I'm just kind of going around and around and it's even okay if you leave a little texture there by leaving it kind of built up. See how the two colors are kind of working together um, and creating a blend there. And I'm gently doing this and slowly doing this to try to stay in my section without going off. If you're at home and you don't have neon paints but you really want to do it in neons, you could even use something like highlighters to color in. Hopefully we're going to have an art show this year. We usually have it during second semester but it's for all first and second semester students. Um, and last year we started a really neat gallery called the Glow Gallery and we're hoping to do that again this year. So if you do have something neons, highlighters, or neon paints that you want to use and you're at home, um, use them because we will have you hopefully send us some of your artwork or drop off some of your artwork so we can include it for the art show during second semester. So I'm just going to keep working my way through here um, and once you are finished, you will be uploading it to Art Sonia. Um, and I will be teaching you how to do that as you finish up your artwork. All right, I'm going to set you free to work on your projects.